In this video, we're just going to install a WordPress blog to our site so we can start blogging. And I'm just going to show you how to do that very quickly. And it's a very fast video on how to install a blog using Fantastico. If you've got a hosting account with cPanel and that account includes Fantastico, you can install a WordPress blog in just a few seconds. So we're going to go ahead and here we'll log into our cPanel. And we want to scroll down and we want to look for the Fantastico icon, which is a little smiley face as you can see here, and just click the link. And once inside here, we want the WordPress. So under blogs, we want WordPress. And it says here we're gonna, it's a blogging software with a focus, and you can go have a look if you want at wordpress.org. And this is the WordPress, as you can see here, it tells you a bit about it. And you can go to the wordpress.org site if you want to learn a bit more. You can also download from this site and install it manually. Um, and that is quite straightforward. It takes a bit longer, but the actual fastest way of doing it is using the Fantastico. So we're going to install it. It's the first time. It's a new installation. So we click New Install. And you can choose which um, of your domains. If you've got a few domains on one site, you can choose which one you're going to install to. Choose a directory. So, for example, if you're going to call it blog, you just type in blog in here. The admin access data, this will be the username that you'll access the area and the password. You'll need to make a note of this, obviously. Admin's nickname, uh, admin's email, the site name, our description, and then click install WordPress. So, as you can see here, we've just put, um, I'm going to call the directory how to. Uh, we've got the admin's username and password. It's faded out here, but that's on here. And then we've got the admin's username, the email of the email of admin, the site name, and our description. We're going to go ahead and click Install WordPress. And it tells you here that the MySQL database and user has been created, WordPress 1 or WRDP 1. And it'll be created and used for this installation. And it confirms where you're going to be able to access the site, which is the folder you've created once you've finished the install. The great thing about using Fantastico is you don't need to set up the databases and that for yourself like you would on the manual install. It does it all for you. So we go ahead and click Finish Installation. And it tells us step three. It's all been configured. Please note uh, the auto installation is done. Uh, you need a username and password to access, which is the ones you set up on the first screen. The full URL to admin, it tells you to bookmark the link. And then you can go back to the overview here. You can just type in uh, an email address and it will send you the installation details. You've got a backup copy and then you're ready to log into your site. And as you can see, I just clicked the email, sent it to myself, so I've now got a backup copy. I now go to the page where it's all been set up for me. That was on the previous page I showed you, the link. Type in the username admin and my password and go ahead and log in. And there you can see I'm now logged in for the first time. We're logged into our blog. This is the actual screen at the current standing, the way that WordPress is designed at the moment. This is the dashboard you're going to see. And if you want to have a look at your site, you can click Visit Site. And it will show you this is your basic WordPress site already installed using Fantastico, ready for you to start editing and setting up. If you want your sites to look a bit different and have different styles and layouts, then you can be using themes, templates that you can get, and we'll show you those in future videos from the site. But that's straightforward how you install very quickly a WordPress blog using Fantastico on cPanel. Thanks for watching.